John Coleman, good teams, teams that win promotion, win football matches by hook or by crook. You've done it again this afternoon. 3-1 winners over Forest Green Rovers. How, how pleased are you? Well, we're finding ways to win. And, you know, some good goals. Um, a scrappy one for the first one. The, the conditions are really difficult. But, you know, you know, Buzzard does a great job to get the game on in the first place. But very windy, the pitch is lively, bouncy. It's difficult to control the ball. And um, and you, you have to give Forest Green credit because they're you know they're probably the best footballing team in the league. They stick to the guns. They open themselves up very wide, leave themselves a bit vulnerable, but they do pass the ball well and they do t keep possession. I think I wouldn't be surprised if they've had more possession than us today. Uh, they do pass the ball well and they move it well. But we've organised ourselves to be quite strong defensively, and I think we were today. Disappointed with the goal, um, but we didn't give up too many chances. Um, and on the on the the flip side to that is because they play such an expansive game, they are vulnerable on the break. And you know, we did look the most dangerous team today, I think, in both halves. Uh, and thankfully, we got the goal when, when it mattered with a fantastic individual run by Jordan Clark. Is it a hallmark of what you're achieving this season, not achieved anything yet, that when they equalised in the last 10 minutes, you found a way, you found another level, and you responded? I think it is. And I think that that's the, down to the players' belief. And I have to give all the, all the praise to the players. Um, this is determination, steely determination of all. Um, and we did up, we did up at the gear. Uh, our passing got better. We pinned, put a screen back. We had a few corners, hit the post, and you know we've had chances. But we know that every game we play is going to be hard uh, for different reasons. We're going to up against some tough sides, and that's another tough game to to walk off. You know they they will cause problems for plenty of teams. Talk to us about that goal for, for Jordan Clark. He just kept running. Well, you know, he's had a couple of great ones in the first half. He had one in the second half where he, he chose to try and take the last man on instead of shooting. And he was thinking shades of that again, but he's kept his composure and he managed to not make the keep. Which, of course, is a great moment for him. And then in stoppage time, Caden Jackson keeps his cool. It's like a cherry on top. It is, and you know, I'm pleased for Caden because he's worked ever so hard. Um, and he's been struggling with a groin, so that was, uh, you know, he'll have a couple of weeks off and all rest. Um, and it's nice that, um, you know, for the for your forwards, pretty Billy didn't score, but it's, it's nice for your forwards to get rewarded with goals for all the hard work. You know, it was crucial that we won today without having two weeks without playing, so we had to we had to get points on the board, another opportunity to get points on the board. And we've just got to count the games down now, you know, we've got to take each game as it comes. I know it's, I, I'm riddled with cliches, but, you know, we've just got to keep putting one foot in front of them really, and take care of our own business and let whatever happens elsewhere happen. With not playing next weekend because your game against Yeovil is off, how crucial, how significant could this three-point cushion to second turn out to be the next time you play? Well, you know, as I said to you the other week, I don't really want a cushion because I don't want to fall over, I don't want a safety net. I just want to keep ploughing forward and I think that's the best way and I think the players are, are sort of buying into that as well. They can, they can see the finishing line and they know that they want to work hard to try and go over that finishing line. Are you focused on the title now, not just automatic promotion? Well, I think if you keep focused on the title, that'll get you a good chance of being automatically promoted. I think that the big, the big prize is promotion, and you know if we could get that done, then I think it'd take the pressure off us and give us a good shot at taking the title. But all we want to do is finish in the top three. You went over 2,000 fans today, 2,300. You mentioned the conditions. It was absolutely freezing, but they made some noise. How important is it that this keeps snowballing and people keep coming and, and the, the supporters keep giving you that backing? I hope the snowballs don't keep coming. It's freezing today. No, you've got to give them every credit. You know, they they come out, it's freezing. Uh, they paid their hard earned money. And the atmosphere they created was very, very good today. And hopefully it'll only get better between now and the end of the season. Was there a bit of pressure?